So she do earn more or pay less? Um, in all honesty, I think she should be, be doing both. One of the things that I do find is people pay too much tax, but often we're manipulated into overpaying in the first place. We're told that we should always do everything by the book and blah, blah, blah. Yet you'll find wealthy people play cat and mouse with the tax man. You'll find that getting ahead it often is beneficial that you manipulate the tax um, to suit your needs. For example, when you're um, running a limited company and you pay tax annually, reinvesting your tax money in things that will actually come up before the tax year ends so that you can pay your tax, you can earn interest on the tax money, etc. It's all about how you deal with the money. You're told to be a good citizen, etc., but in reality, there's people dictating that to you, have tax accountants and everybody else, getting them the absolute maximum out for themselves, politicians with their expenses, leaders of hospitals, charities, and everything else, big expense accounts, and also free cars, free fuel, and lots of other things that are perks to themselves, and then they've got the uh, pension systems that are often beneficial to themselves as well. When you take the EU Parliament with a double pensions, etc., there's a prime example, employing their own family, another example. It's all about paying less and giving themselves more. Now, for me and you, it's going to be far more difficult. Um, there's some ways I recommend, and they involve doing a bit of research, but in all honesty, it's not rocket science, and it's not forced into doing something quickly, which means you can make informed decisions. Some of the ways I would recommend making money, I'll see if I can do five off the top of my head. Um, antiques. Antiques is something they can't tax, they can't see it, they can't value it, because they don't know you own it. When you go to an auction or whatever and you purchase it, there's not a lot of information taken from you. So if you bought something for, say, £20, no one up to £1,000 in a year, um, are they going to tax you on it? The answer is no. If you sold it privately, are they going to tax you on it? The answer is no. So that's one of the ways you can avoid, well, it's yours anyway. I don't think you should have to pay tax on it. Um, the other one is cryptocurrencies. Cryptocurrencies, because they're decentralized and off the books at the minute, and I know uh, Bitcoin is sort of getting half, half in and half out with the regulations and the banking systems at the minute. Um, and you've also got things like Ripple that are pushing their way into the banking system for a monetary exchange globally. Um, but right now, you can have money in there that quite simply nobody knows you have. So when you get the fluctuations and growth in the market, you're not taxed on it. I will say the exchange fees can often be expensive, but that's part and parcel of life. You just have to deal with it. Another one is quite simply speaking to your accountant. If you're self-employed, own a limited company, or have other ways that you can actually declare more for tax so you pay less, go and bug your accountant. Um, if you haven't done it, you know, because I know a lot of people, they get an accountant and just leave them to do their accounts. Don't do that. Don't do that. Go in there and say, book an appointment and go in there and say, can you save me more money? How can I get more money back from the tax man? And they'll have some stuff they can help you with, whether you move this to this, buy a new car and do this. Whether... They have ways and means of doing it. But unless you ask them, they're not going to turn around and give it to you. Um, and a lot of it is just being a bit um, a bit of courtesy with them, a bit, a bit friendly, a bit nice. Um, now, another one, this is for people that work directly with companies. Often, you're more beneficial working with agencies. The NHS, with its struggling for nurses, is a lot to do with the fact that agencies have come in and private organizations that are basically robbing the, robbing the place of money. Um, you can come back on flexible hours and get paid exactly the same part-time as you would have got full-time, or you could work double shifts and earn double the amount. It's not impossible to do. Um, that's another way to increase your income. If you're, if you're working directly with a company, you may find it better to become a contractor and earn it independently and go in via an agency. If you're with an agency, 
look at going in an umbrella company. An umbrella company, you could run through your, your lunch, you can run through clothing on some of them, fuel, um, computer equipment. Um, pretty much, you just keep sending them receipts and they will kick back the ones they don't want and you just keep sending them in. There is nothing wrong with trying to claim for everything. In the worst case scenario, they might have to give the tax man some money back in the following tax year. So what? Um, at the end of the day, you're probably going to recover a lot more than you're going to have to give them back by simply being proactive in the same way rich people are, politicians are, uh, heads of corporations are. Um, they are fundamentally doing this on purpose. And they tell you that it's wrong. You should make sure yours is correct. You should do that. They're working as hard as they can to manipulate things so they get as much money as possible. Now, a couple other ways you can make money as well is peer-to-peer -peer lending pays out about 6 to 10% a year. Not fantastic. I recommend looking at, if you're in the UK, at ISAs and seeing which ones are performing because some of these peer-to-peers are actually linked with ISAs now. So they can actually be beneficial in that sense. So you may actually be able to get a tax-free saving um, using a peer-to-peer -peer setup. Um, some of them do it, some of them aren't. Um, and that's why just Google peer-to-peer -peer ISA. And that will give you the ones that actually can do that. And I'm sure there must be something similar in the US. Um, here in Spain, I know that Funding Circle operates, but I'm not sure about their ISA setup. Um, but the point being is, you don't pay tax on this and you can increase your investments in there and and just keep ticking the money over so in all honesty the the key to this is trying to pay less and earn more and earning more it sometimes is quite simply reinvesting the money that you are taking from the tax man um, the money they were taking saying it's theirs and then you go well hang on a minute but if i do this this and this no, it's not. It's mine because I'm actually a contract. I'm no longer an employee. And you then get paid out that way. And then you can reinvest it and put it into peer-to-peer, -peer, put it into crypto, put it into antiques, put it into another little business venture of your own. Um, the other thing is if you look into some of these things, there is some ways to get money out of... Um, organizations as well if you're starting your own business which is another group um, I recommend signing up with like the government organized ones um, I think it's called the there's one I joined in Worcester moons, moons ago it's, it's like a small business forum or whatever firstly it's good for networking secondly I want a free laptop um, because hardly anybody enters the contest for that um, I know my sister had the same with another website similar thing she won um what do you call it cinema tickets for the Odeon about once a month because hardly anybody enters the competitions but the the point being is on these forums they're good for networking they they know good tax people they know where they buy things they can help with some subsidies they can help with some financing startup funding you need to be proactive in getting this stuff and even if it's just a small business, it does not matter because at the end of the day, these forums get money from the government. So if you get a small business that becomes successfully big, it's good for them, which is why they're quite happy to help you. Uh, I'm sure there's some out there that are very busy and very big, but a lot of them are very small and want to get bigger. And that comes from people like yourself, which is why they'll help you. So there's a few ideas out there to... Pay less and earn more. Thanks for watching.